Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got a demo and review for you. Uh, what we have today is a Waves Vocal Rider. Now this is a VST plugin that I use on all my videos. I've been using it for the past uh, couple months now and I really do like it. And I think it has really helped improve my audio quality and stuff. So like I said, I want to do a little demo and review for it for everybody, kind of demonstrate how it works and how it actually has improved my audio. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. Well, I have Vocal Rider opened up here. Now we have both the regular version and the live version. Now both the normal uh, regular version come in a mono and stereo. And the same goes for the live version. It comes in a mono and stereo as well. Now the only real difference between the live version and the normal version is the spill button. And what the spill button does, it lets you adjust this knob here so you can actually tell the plugin Hey, we have other noise coming in. I want you to ignore that because the plugin might confuse, you know, background and your noise coming in. For example, loud live on stage, it might uh, confuse like you know all the other you know instruments and band noise and everything coming in and trying to level, uh, raise your vocals at the same time when it might not actually be you singing. So that's what the spill button's for now, and it also can be used. Uh, for example, if you're recording outdoors, doing kind of like vlogging or something other, and you get back uh, home, you want to edit your videos, and you just got a lot, a lot of ambient noise and stuff in those uh, videos. Well, the spill button lets you adjust it out. So you can say, hey, man, I got uh, audio coming in. So anything about, say, negative 30 dB and below, I want it to kind of ignore. And that's what I do is you can adjust it and say, hey, ignore all that uh, rumble, uh, background noise up to this point right here then anything above that is actually be speaking so that's what the live version is for so it's gonna be very very handy for those type of situations when you get other information stuff coming in your other audio you know sources bleeding in on your actual vocal track okay everyone so the spill adjustment is the only difference between the live version and the normal version so anyway let's go over all the other features and stuff that you'll find on the vocal rider here now at the top we do have our slider adjustment right now I have it set to negative 19 luffs and if I actually start playing here a little bit of audio vocal rider automatically rides your vocal track levels as you can see the audio or the level uh gain is coming in you can see it behind it if we bring this up now I am speaking softly then vocal rider will try to adjust the uh, gain here to match automatically now I am speaking at a normal level. Vocal Rider helps keep steady vocal levels without affecting their sound. Now I am speaking loudly. Okay. Vocal Rider helps achieve an open sound. And if we pull it down, over compression. as you can see, it will try to push it down. Soft. Soft. Normal. Okay. Let me set this back to negative 19. Okay. Now over here we have uh, the ride and idle. As you probably noticed, those LEDs, when Vocal Rider is actually riding the uh, the gain here, it actually lights up. And when it's idle, like it is right now, that it's not really doing anything, it's just green. It's just a little uh, LED indication. Below that, we have a fast and slow. And this uh, automatically adjusts the attack speed. And this uh, attitude tells Vocal Rider, hey, uh, work faster. Or, hey, be a little slower, be a little more natural. For example, you want slow if you're doing singing voices where somebody's constantly got a uh, steady amount of uh, uh, singing coming out of their voice if one trying to get at. And if you are speaking like I'm doing right now, you'll want to put this on fast. At least from my experience, that's how the best way it works. Then you have a sensitivity knob. And if you want it to be a little more sensitive, you can crank this up. And it will automatically adjust a lot more. Normal, normal. As you can see there. Loud, loud, 
Loud. It's more sensitive Loud. at pushing it down Loud. or adjusting or bringing it up. If you want to be less sensitive, you bring it back the other direction. And it will be more relaxed on everything. As you can see here. Compression. Soft. Soft. As you can see, soft. it's barely moving at all. Normal. 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 And it's starting to kick Normal. in a little bit. Loud. So yeah, that's the sensitivity on it. That's how what that does. Now, you probably notice uh, music over here. Unfortunately, I'm using DaVinci Resolve, and it does not have any sidechain capabilities. Uh, well, not fully implemented yet. It's got minor ones, but that's a whole other video topic. But anyway, so yeah, you can have uh, your music come in through a sidechain if you're using like Reaper. And what this does, if your uh, music happens to get louder, it will try to uh, bring up the attenuation and stuff on your vo uh, vocal gain here so that your vocals can stay above it. And the same goes the other way. If your music starts to get a little lower, it also bring down the vocals a little bit too to kind of keep them more natural sound and more matched so that your uh, you sound very clear and, and your vocals are not getting mixed and mushed up inside the, you know, the music and stuff. Okay, so that's the, the uh, slider and stuff. Now, over here we have output. Of course, we got the writer. Like I said, you don't really mess with it. It's just more or less just watch it. You can adjust it up and down, but it pretty much is automatic. Now, the range here is how far you want the rider to travel. We can bring it up higher. You can see it goes up with it, or we can bring it down lower. By default, it's set to a plus 6 and a minus 6, which is a full 12 dB of dynamic range there. But, for example, if you wanted to make sure that it got pressed down a little bit more so if you want to go down to negative 12 and you notice the slider is resting a little bit lower however if you want it to set to say zero and keep it around you know zero you can just bring it up that way it will rest there but it'll go down to lower if you want it to okay of course we bring that back up say negative six again it follows it back up you just have to reset the here a little bit by bringing it back down like I said, it's fully adjustable. And, of course, output is just gain. So if you gain's too low, you can just bring up your gain. Now, down here we have automation. Uh, unfortunately, Resolve does not have any automation features. Uh, unlike, I think, Reaper does. What this does, it'll go through and automatically write the gain changes onto the actual tracks. That way, if you want to, say, use the plugin to go through it, then st stop using the plugin. It will automatically just read it through your, uh, through your uh, what do you call it, the little markers and you know, adjust the gain stuff as it goes along. You know, keyframes, that's the word I'm looking for. You adjust it by keyframes and everything. And of course, like I said, I do get to do that. Let's click over to right. And of course, it could also read them. Now, like I said, I got mine off. Though if I turn any of this on and resolve currently, it wouldn't do anything. But anyway, uh, yeah. Basically, what I uh, use this for is just my vocals for my creative content. However, you can use this for live streaming. For example, if you're like me, when you get to thinking about something, you get a little quiet. Then when you get really excited, you get really loud. And well, this will help normalize your voice and keep things more natural sound. So yeah, you can use it for live streaming, uh, post vlogging, or other any other kind of creative content. It completely outside of music production which is what I use it for. And I think the vast majority of my uh, audience probably does the same. So anyway, I have it set. I wanted to play through the track here, uh, and I'll let you hear it. And as it goes through, I might cut it on and off. You can hear the difference between it working and not working. So let me play the demo track here, and I'll probably play the demo track through twice. Vocal Rider automatically rides your vocal track levels instead of manually riding your mixing console's fader or tediously drawing in every level change on your DAW track. Now I am speaking softly. Vocal Rider helps keep constant vocal and dialogue levels on You see it bringing it up. Now I am speaking at a normal level. Vocal Rider helps keep... And you see at normal levels, it'll push it, up, push it up and pull it down both. Now I am speaking loudly. Vocal Rider helps achieve... You can see getting loud, it starts to push it down more often. Impression. Soft, 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 soft. Normal, 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 normal. 
loud, 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 soft, normal, loud, soft, normal, loud. Vocal writer automatically writing. Okay, let me turn it off while he's talking. Instead of manually writing your mixing console's fader or tediously drawing in every level change on your DAW track. Now I am speaking softly. Vocal writer helps keep constant vocal and dialogue levels automatically. You hear it, bring it up. Now I am speaking at a normal level. Vocal writer helps keep steady vocal levels without affecting their sound. Now I am speaking loudly. Vocal writer helps achieve an Let me open turn it off here. Mix by avoiding over compression. Soft, 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 off, soft. Normal, 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 normal. Loud, 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 loud. You should get much louder there, ain't it? Soft, normal, loud. back on. Soft, normal, loud, 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 loud. Loud. You can tell it really does help, Soft. but you bring Normal. up the uh, volume Loud. and stuff without over, uh, overdoing it too. Normal. So Loud. anyway, yeah, it'll bring up the the low parts and it'll smoothen out. It'll be smoothing out words and stuff. So if you start at the beginning of your word uh, too quiet and finish the end of your word off too uh, too loud, you know it'll balance that out. And also, if you start off the uh, part of your word too loud and at the end of the word it's too uh, quiet. Then it'll bring down the, the front of that and bring up the rear of the word. So, yeah, it, it really does help. Uh, even if you think you might be speaking loud, like you see on part of the, my test audio track I made here, I thought I was speaking quite loud in parts of it, but they decided, hey, you know, that part of that word is not really loud enough, and it kind of pushes it down. So, yeah, it keeps it more normal, more flowing, more uh, more consistent which is really important when you try to get real good uh consistent audio for audio books and other types of uh you know content and stuff okay everybody well that's vocal rider uh like i said it's pretty simple straightforward plug-in very easy to set up and use and i really think it has really helped improve my audio quality by you know keeping me from getting too loud and also keeping me from getting too quiet and of course i use it in all my videos like when i'm actually uh filming right now will be using the plugin when i go to edit this video but i am not affiliated with uh waves in any, any shape or form i just purchased the plugin uh like i said about a couple months back now and i really like it so i thought i'd share it for everybody now i am affiliated with uh, a shampoo so if you're interested in uh, backup pro 14 do check it out download it try it uh, help protect your computer and everything against you know ransomware or just hardware failure in general. Now, I do want to point out that uh, currently at the time making this video, by the time this video goes live, the you know the actual sale could be off. But at the time of making this video, which I'm recording this on the 9th uh, of April, uh, you can actually use coupon code uh, CREATIVE40 and save another like 81% or, or save uh, another few percent off the actual uh, price. The regular price is two hundred forty nine dollars for plug-in, which I did not pay. It is normally on sale all, all the time for seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents, which is what I did pay. However, if you use Creative Forty coupon code at the time making this video, you can get it for forty seven dollars and ninety nine cents. And yeah, I'm looking at the monitor right here to read this off to you, just to make sure I say everything correctly. So yeah, check the link down in the description below if you're interested in the plug-in. You can get a, a seven day. Uh, free trial if you want to check it out and see if it helps your audio and stuff like i said you can use this on live streaming post-production you know it doesn't matter it's just a really great plugin to help level out your uh, gain on your audio and stuff but like i said without having to use over compressed audio so anyway that's it for this video i uh, hope you like this little demo and review of uh waves vocal rider and if you like this video have a give me a thumbs up thumbs up so it's highly appreciated and if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet please take the time to subscribe subscribing is free and it's for you and let you know when i release more videos until next time everybody thank you for watching